Hey you guys, how are y'all doing today? Today I'm going to go over chemical engineering and material science engineering. The reason I created this presentation was because I previously did not know what material science and engineering was myself and I stumbled across it and just wanted to create a quick presentation to introduce you to it and anybody who did not know about it such as myself and go over the differences between it and chemical engineering because there are some similarities and also some differences. The education requirements for chemical engineering and materials engineering are the same. You both you need a bachelor's degree for either one. The median salary for each is around the same with chemical engineering being a bit higher at 98,000 while materials and science engineering is at 93,000. Uh, chemical engineers tend to focus more on chemical processes and production methods than material engineers do while materials engineers are actually focused on creating new products and improving existing ones. They also determine what materials should be used for specific products. So both of them utilize design skills and engineering knowledge uh, very well to ensure they meet expectations. So chemical engineers and materials engineers can both be involved with designing products. Their responsibilities tend to, tip, to differ, however. Chemical engineers usually specialize in processing things like gas or food. Chemical engineers often work with dangerous materials and may need to establish safety standards for specific tasks. Materials engineers focus on the ingredients used in other products. They may use their skills to develop a new type of material or test existing materials so that they can figure out the best materials to construct other products. In addition to their duties, materials engineers are responsible for assessing materials to determine how environmentally friendly and durable they are. Chemical engineers typically study chemical engineering to get a bachelor's degree. As I mentioned earlier, uh, their job responsibilities include developing design plans for new products, evaluating equipment to ensure they function as expected, fixing or suggesting solutions to problems found in the manufacturing process, and preparing production budgets. So they tend to work in chemical manufacturing, research, and other types of manufacturing industries. It's common for them to work in sometimes a lab and also an office. There's another video I have comparing chemical engineers and chemistry majors where I go in depth of the types of work that chemical engineers do as well so the places of work that they work at you might want to check that out as well and those that work in manufacturing may also visit locations to observe products that are processing and manufacturing they apply their knowledge to the way that goods such as paper food and paper are processed and they also create new products safety is important to chemical engineers that's important to remember so in this field, it is common for chemical engineers to work with hazardous materials such as fuel, chemicals, and drugs. So chemical engineers tend to pay attention to details and adhere to safety protocols very rigorously. Materials engineers contribute to the production process by assessing the materials used in products. So some job responsibilities of materials engineers include testing materials, designing materials, developing project budgets, identifying project flaws, and producing pro documentation on their design plans. Their work helps ensure that the best types of materials are used in production so that products can work properly and safely. The most common field of study for materials engineers to pursue is material science, and a bachelor's degree is required to enter this career field. Some materials engineers concentrate on research while others work in manufacturing and may be involved with manufacturing things such as vehicles, metals, or plastics. Working overtime is common in this career field, so if you would not like to work overtime, I would consider being a chemical engineer instead of a materials engineer. However, if doing what you love is important to you, then go ahead and be a materials engineer because that is not a huge deal. Overtime is common in any field, so 
this is this is again not a huge deal so the work environment for materials engineers may vary depending on what specific industry they work in and this is all I have for you guys today so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you at least learned something from it I know I did from my research so um, subscribe and like the video and go check out some of my other videos chemical engineering versus chemistry or some of the process unit videos uh, and have a great day